Hello my YouTube friend, this is Not Mechanic here and today I want to do a review on the King Bowling YA200 OBD2 Enhanced Scanner. This is a new basic code reader. It has new functions and new improvement which are a one key function. One of the key functions is the DTC look up pending code store in the scan tool another one key function that it has is look up the VIN number meaning it displays vehicle identification number and also it has a one key IM readiness quick check admission readiness status and the driving cycle verification so we're going to do a review on this I'm going to be using this 2006 Dodge Caravan. Let's see what's inside. Let's plug it in and let's see how it functions. We got our wire. Here goes our YA200 OBD2 scan tool. And these are the one key function right here. VIN number, IM, and DTC. It has OK, up and down button, and this one to go back. Very basic, but very powerful with all the functions it has. It has a good grip. So let's go put it in the van. The van has a code. Let's see what we can find. The first thing we're going to do is connect the King Bowling YA200. And we're going to connect it right here. This is a 2006 Dodge Caravan. And we're going to connect it. Once we connect it, you can see it power on right away. Now that the scan tool is plugged in, what we need to do is Turn the car on the arm position. Now that the car is on the arm position, you can see in the screen on the YA200 scan tool, it has diagnosis, DTC lookup, battery, and settings. So the first one I'm going to um, press is the one that's highlighted in red and all we need to do is press OK. Once we press OK you're gonna see it uploading. Once it uploads it's telling us mail statics on DTC CNT3 monitor OK4 monitor insufficient 4 monitor NA3 ignition type spark. Right in there everything we need to know. So the first one we're going to press is DTC, that's to look up the pending codes and all we need to do is press the arrow down, once we press the arrow down you can see that it's highlighted in blue, all we have to do now is press OK. And once we press OK it says modular 10 so you're going to just press OK. Once we press OK you'll see that it'll say recode, erase code, live data, freeze frame, vehicle information, iron readiness. It has a lot of function for being a basic scan tool. So the first one we want to work on is read the code because this car has the engine light on. So it's already highlighted in blue to recode and all we need to do is press Okay, once we press OK, we'll see store code or pending code. Let's press store code. And once we press it, oh, boom, that was fast. It gave us the first code, and the first code is, uh, is right in the top where it says red at, where the red is at, and it says PO138, and it says O2 sensor. Circle high, voltage bank one, bank two. 
That was quick. So now it says one out of three right here in the corner. So we want to go to the next one. And to go to the next one, all we got to do is press the arrow down. Once we press the arrow down, we see the next code. The next code is PO118. Engine cooling temper temperature sensor one circle high. So that's two. Now let's go to number three. Press the arrow down. And number three is PO 108 manifold absolute pressure. Too high. And there goes the coal right in the top. So it gave us the coal right away. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back. Now that we know the codes, let's see what else we can find. So to go back, all we do is press this. And if you want to erase the codes, you have to, you can erase the codes right there. You go down here. Once you fix your problem, you erase the codes, you press it, and then you press OK, and it should be erased. So what else we have here? We also got the... Um, O2 sensor test. He has that there. So let's go all the way back. And let's um these are the one key function. This is what right here in the top. So let's see. Let's go to VIN number. Let's press VIN. Let's see how fast it gives us the VIN. Boom! That was quick. Look at that. There goes the VIN number. You know, we don't have to be coming out, writing it down, writing a piece of paper. All we have to do is just press the button, and it's right there. So now, let's go back. Now that we are back, we could go to, let's press I am readiness. And right away, give us the I, um, I am readiness. You can see it right in there. You have the red, the blue. And what is ready and what is not ready in green. That was quick. I'm impressed with this. So let's go back. Okay, so that was that. Let's go look at the battery voltage here. Let's go to battery voltage. Let's go down. Excuse me for the battery. Let's see. Let's press OK. Let's see what it says. So the max is... 12.1 and minimum was 12.0 so this is the status of my battery let's get out of here what else we have here okay we went back I don't know that I, I press the VIN I press I am but I don't know if I press DTC uh, DTC lookup so let's try that And it's giving me pending codes. And there it goes. It took a straight. Straight to find the pending codes or whatever codes this car has. I am impressed with this YA200 scan tool. I don't want to make this video too long. But it has a lot of, let's see. Let's go to settings. Let's press settings. It has language, self-test, unit, system information. It has everything in there. Let me look up language. Let's see what kind of language does it have. Oh, we got English, France, Dutch, Italian. It has everything in there. Okay, let's go back. So I don't want to make this video long. This is a basic scan tool. This is what the company said that this is a basic scan tool. That this YA200 is a basic scan tool. But a basic scan tool like this that giving me all this information, I will definitely get this, get this scan tool. Now, if you want to get one of these, I'm going to give you a link below for you can get one of these. These are basic. And believe me. You're not going to regret it with all the information I showed you and the quickness of it. You cannot go wrong. So once again, this is Now Mechanic.
If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below or contact me on nonmechanic101 at yahoo.com. That is nonmechanic101 at yahoo.com. And remember, if nonmechanic can do it, you can do it. Later. <laughs>